so I was like, but it was very dispassionate. There was there was no emotion associated with it at all. So when you say you were standing there, could you look down at your physical body standing there as well as laying on the ground? Yeah, at that time I could. Right. I could, st you know, I I still had what I thought was a a normal shape, mm -hmm. and and I still had, I actually still had all the clothes on that that the guy on the ground had on. Wow. Um, which was pretty weird. And so, but as I'm watching them, I, I think, well, I guess there's no point in hanging around here because they don't, they can't see me, they can't hear me, and I'm dead. So I thought, well, I, you know, I just turned to leave, and I didn't know where I was going, but I started to walk up the stairs, and and in, in that pavilion, there's a set of stairs that goes this way, and then it goes back. And you go into this big room. So as I go, as I'm going up the stairs, I am noticing that my legs are dissolving, and I'm looking down, going, "This is really something." And my shape is has suddenly dematerialized. So I get to the I get to the top of the stairs, and now I'm I'm mostly a ball of energy wow. of some sort, mm -hmm. and. I pass through the wall, and and now I'm in the I'm in the big room with it, with with the family, and I see my kids, and you know they're in my ex is is painting faces and and everybody's having a grand old time, and I I floated diagonally through the room, and I just had the realization that. Well, they'll all be fine. Mm -hmm. um, but it was very dispassionate. It, w it was very interesting to me because there was no... I was pure thought. Wow. There was no there was no emotion associated with it. It was just... I was pure thought energy. Mm -hmm. And as I got out of that building, so I, and I don't know why I was going diagonally, but that's the way I was going. Mm -hmm. When I got outside the building, and suddenly I was wrapped in this bluish white light, mm. and the closest thing that I, I remember trying to examine it and saying, "Hmm, what is this, and what is it like that I've experienced on Earth?" Mm. And the closest thing I could come to was, if you've ever sw been swimming underwater in really blue water and the light. From the sun was penetrating through it. That's what it was like. It has very shimmery, bluish white light. But as soon as that happened, I suddenly became aware of just of the feeling of absolute love and absolute peace. You know, people talk about you know absolute zero, which is the temperature that nothing moves at. Mm -hmm. And, and that's the closest thing I could come to when, as I'm thinking about what, what I'm experiencing. And it was like falling into a river of pure positive energy. Mm. And it was, I couldn't, there's nothing that I've ever experienced in this world that's even close to that. Mm. So, and in the whole time, my, you know, I'm analyzing everything that's happening because my mind is racing. Um, and so that, you know, that's like, you know, that realization that the consciousness went with me mm -hmm. and that I'm who I am always mm -hmm. was a huge realization. And so I'm, I'm thinking about what's happening. I have a, a very brief life review. You know, it's kind of the high points and low points of my life just kind of whiz by. Mm -hmm. And... And I'm just just taking it all in, and and I'm feeling this absolute love, and the most amazing feeling I've ever experienced in my in my life, as I thought of it. Mm -hmm. um, and at that at that point, I was I was so excited to be going someplace, and and I could feel that I was going. There was there was there was a sense of of speed and direction to wherever I was going. It wasn't getting warmer, so I thought, okay, I'm safe. Um, but 
it was clearly a direction. Mm. And I became so excited about where I was headed. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, bam, I was back. And I, was, and I remember screaming in my head, please don't make me do this. I don't want to go back. Wow. And, but it's too bad. You know, it's like when you're back, you're back. And, and I remember, you know, I went from absolute bliss mm. to misery mm. in, in a millisecond. And I'm, you know, I, now I'm stuck back in this body. Mm. There's this poor woman who's beating on my chest. Mm -hmm. I'm still unconscious, so I, I, I can't talk, I can't move, and I can't tell everybody, all right, I'm back, you can stop. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, I'm sitting there, and, and, and it hurt. Mm -hmm. Where the lightning hit me, hit me right in the left corner of the mouth, and it came out my left foot. And, and it was, and both of those places hurt like crazy. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I'm like, God, I, I, this is not for me. Um, but, and then, you know, it's like, too bad, you're here. And so, you know, it took me several minutes to wake up. And when I did, I, you know, I, I wanted to, to tell the girl who was doing all this CPR stuff that, you know, thank you, I'm okay. And, mm -hmm. And but nothing, none of the circuits were working very well, right. and I was having trouble focusing. I was trouble thinking, and my my poor attempt at at explaining myself came out as it's okay. I'm a doctor, <laughs> and she just looked at me and said, "You weren't a minute ago," mm. and I'm thinking, "Oh God, she must think I'm such a jerk." Um, and at that point, I realized. I shouldn't say anything to anybody because I'm not well. Yeah, yeah. And I managed to get up and I went upstairs to to where the rest of the family was. And and the whole episode apparently took about fifteen minutes. Really? Um but in that fifteen minutes I made some huge realizations. Mm. And one of them was that when you leave your body there's there's no there's no bells and whistles it's just you and you don't even realize that you've left and that was really hard mm. um, but the realization that the consciousness goes with you mm. um, is a profound realization the, the, probably the biggest realization of all, and, and one of the things that makes me feel like I'm the luckiest man alive, is I know there's something else. I didn't see God, but I felt God. Mm -hmm. I know that God exists, and I know that God is part of the fabric of everything. And, and that's, that's pretty big stuff to, to walk away from. And, a, you know, a near-death experience mm. um, and a, an out-of-body experience with. I didn't get to see lost relatives and, mm. and some of the things that other people see, but I didn't need to because I, I, had, I felt very privileged to have what I did have. Mm. So, you know, I, when the, you know, the police came and and they wanted to take me to the hospital, and I just said, you know, what's the point? I'm, you know, you, if you get struck by lightning, you're either you're, you're alive or you're dead. There's not much in between. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I would just rather go home. I'll have my doctor see me as soon as I get there. Mm -hmm. And so I called <clears throat> my cardiologist and my neurologist, and, and, you know, they checked everything. And they said, well, you know, it's, you're just lucky. 